वेलकम टू हैप्पी मेडिकल फ्रेंड ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम द एडमिन मौजम साइद टुडे वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट टर्म्स यूज फॉर डिस्क्राइबिंग द बोन फीचर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्क्राइब द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एलोवेशन वाइल डिस्क्राइबिंग द डिफरेंट बोन फीचर्स द एलोवेशन आर नोन एज द सडन आउथ ग्रोथ which are not at the same level of the surface they are on some height of the normal surface of this bone or the other structure there are three types of elevations the linear elevations the rounded elevation the sharp elevation now let's discuss all the different types of elevations separately the linear elevation the linear elevation is an outgrowth not restricted on a single point rather it is an elevation on a linear or a line form the linear elevation is known by different names in the human body in different organs line crest and ridge Let's discuss the line. This is a typical human skull. The occipital bone is found on the posterior part of the human skull. This is the occipital bone. A general view of the occipital bone which is located on the posterior part of the human skull. It has many linear elevations which we will discuss now. The highest nuchal line which is located on the top. The superior nuchal line which is present on the superior part and the inferior nuchal line. The linear elevation on the occipital bone of the skull has special names called the nuchal lines. There are three different kinds of nuchal lines on the occipital bone. These nuchal lines can be seen on the screen. Let's see how they elevate from the back side of the skull. This portion shows the elevation of the nuchal lines. The crust. The linear elevation of the hip bone is commonly called the crust this is a general overview of the hip bone this is the ilium part of the hip bone the visible portion on which the elevation is present is called the iliac crust the iliac bone or the iliac part of the hip bone possesses the crust So the iliac part of the hip bone possesses the crust which is called the linear elevation of the hip bone or the iliac crust. Ridge The linear elevation of the humerus bone are called the ridges. A general overview of the humerus bone of the upper limb. This is the humerus bone. This is the medial side of the humerus bone and this is the lateral side of the humerus bone. This linear elevation of the humerus bone is called the medial supraepicondylar ridge and this portion represents the lateral supraepicondylar ridge. These two ridges represent the linear elevation on the humerus bone. The lateral supraepicondylar ridge present on the humerus bone. This ridge represents the linear elevation on the humerus bone of the upper limb. The medial supraepicondylar ridge present on the medial side of the humerus bone. Like, share, and comment on the video.
and don't forget to watch the next part of the video. Thank you.